Hello, YouTube. Welcome back and welcome to the Lancaster League Entity Exam. Now, in a long history of uh, anomaly based games and Mandela catalog inspired games, this is another one. This is Entity Exam. There's actually a few games in this series by this developer, uh, all under the Lancaster Leak kind of banner. And I'm dead excited. I love these sort of games. This analog horror vibe really kind of scratches an itch. And there's something kind of uncanny valley horror about the sort of characters they're in. It. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited too. Uh, so let's dive in, shall we? All right, click to progress. I don't know what this is going to be like. I'm assuming, can you hear the hum? I'm assuming you can hear the hum. <laughs> there is no pause menu. This game briefly uses webcam and computer profile name. If you do not want this, opt out in settings. I'll be opting out in settings. Wear headphones and turn off the lights. I'm assuming you can all hear the hum. And turn up just as much, so you can definitely hear the home. Right? Can I? Is there a is there a settings? Okay. So for best experience, adjust graphic and volume in settings. There is no pause menu. This game briefly uses webcam and computer profile name. Now my computer profile name is just Mike. My webcam I'm really not happy with. If you do not want this, opt out in the settings. Wear headphones and turn off the lights. Settings. Opt out of webcam and computer profile and utilize it. Yes. As an aside, this is something more horror games need to do, right? There is a very fine line at the minute between horror game and malware, right? Kineco Pet does this, and it not only does this, it uses your system, it basically gives itself system access to your computer by opening command prompt and then it threatens to dox you it threatens to expose your address and then searches for the words just so you know i can do it in your search bar without your knowledge and without your consent prior to it as well and i think that's really bad that's really, really bad loads and loads of horror horror uh, youtubers are playing kinika pet at the minute and everyone's freaking out about it because it's scary and oh god it's so freaky but i think we're all missing the sort of the real security implication there is that if a big streamer or YouTuber plays that and isn't aware of it, or another game comes out and does exactly the same thing, I don't know. It's a it's a grey area, and I think we should be very, very vigilant. So I'm definitely not going to be playing Kaneko Pet at all. I'm not even going to play it offline. I'm just, I'm not interested in it. I think it's a, a bit of a shitty product to do that. I think the uh, the style is brilliant. That whole 2000, early 2000s Y2K-esque desktop assistant that tries to haunt you and stuff like this. I think that's brilliant. I think it's absolutely fantastic. But the way it's been implemented, I think, is an absolute shit show. So anyway, moving swiftly on. Uh, high quality. There's only high quality, of course. <laughs> uh, back. Uh, newsletter? No. There's a sheep. Why is there a sheep? What's the sheep? Oh. <laughs> Shepherds are... Wait, what the fuck is this? What? <laughs> is this full script? Yeah, look. Shepherd's Eye. Everyone has secrets on Found Sheep Farm, but it's so much easier to pretend no one does. Will you pull the wool over your eyes, or will your pursuit of the truth make you the black sheep in this thrilling horror visual novel? <laughs> it's a horror game about sheep? Well, that's on the list, isn't it? Okay, play. We're getting the feeling that you aren't taking us seriously. I don't, I don't know why. No acknowledgement or missing Valerie. Valerie or the tapes we are leaking. This time we decided to reveal something a little bit closer to home. An old screen recording of one of your training protocols. Right. So is this... If she isn't released, maybe the next leak will show how useless your training is. Does the agent body cam footage ring the bell? What? <laughs> God! 
The Entity Research Department. Login user. Uh, am I doing this? Mike, password. Admin. <laughs> it has my password on there as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, required learning modules and practice quiz. So I know nothing about this. So my, my, my feeling there, the general vibe is this, the, the, the scenario is someone's been taken by the ERD um, and you're leaking tapes to blackmail them into getting them back? Face detection. Which I think is a really, that, that's cool. Route ERD research, there has been one constant. Good uh, Mandela catalog voice is that? Entities who possess human characteristics are the most violent, deceptive, and are the greatest threat to public security. It is imperative that agents have the skills to not only detect potential threats but fast. All right, this is this is already more like it. He has found the one year agent fatality rate goes down from 34.7 per 100 to 26.2 per 100 after taking this module and being proficient in this skill. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Using your cursor, click on the face in the image in the allotted time. Distractions may be employed. <laughs> Distractions may be employed. Okay. Cool. So click on the image of the imposter. Begin. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. There is no imposter. There is no imposter. I just got to click it. Right. Okay. Oh, wait. Do I have to click on the face? That was, that was a, that was a face. You are, you are deadly. Uh, you look horrible. As do you. you. You have a bag on your head. Uh, that's not a face. Oh, no, it is. <laughs> that thing ate that fucking guy's head. You are cursed. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, that was a horrible noise. <laughs> Have I just got to click on their face? Yes, I do. I have to click on their face. Okay, it doesn't work otherwise. See? I got to click on their face in a lot of time. Blah, blah, blah. Is that your face? Okay, I just guessed where your face was then. Uh, nope, nope. I thought it might trick me and the face might be on the wall. Oh, fucking hell. Oh, I failed. <laughs> I passed, yay. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Yeah. So what happens if I press escape? Nothing. Okay. Situation training. Got it. <laughs> that fucking scream. Jesus. This module has been created to address and rectify observed deviations from established protocols, reaffirming the essential principles that all ERD agents are expected to adhere to consistently. Okay. I want it. Lesson one, cert. Cert. Got it. Lesson one, cert. Not CERN, but cert. Cert stands for calmly collect evidence. Calmly collect evidence. Run away and terminate self. Yeah. Given what? The interaction with an entity, these are the order of action <laughs> an agent will take during installation. What? First, of course, is data collection, as research remains the top priority of the RD. Second, eliminate the threat, unless such entity is on the preservation list. A dead entity can be studied, a dead agent cannot. If fighting back is futile, agents should run. If running is futile, agents should terminate themselves. Let us look at an example where an agent didn't follow the principles of CDRT. Jesus. Okay. In 1989, Agent Redacted was collecting data on Entity 59 Skinwalker. Suddenly cornered, Agent Redacted fired all 12 shots of his service pistol into Entity. With no bullets left, Redacted was subjected to Entity 59 as rep. 
Remember to search. Remember to keep an extra round. <laughs> right. This video is another example. Think, following the values of search, what would you do? God. Jesus! Fucking hell! Lesson 2. Do's and don'ts. Improvements we need in the RP. <laughs> to interact with entities, if new data can be collected. Don't risk losing obtained data by interacting too much. To help co-workers gather data. Does become friends with co-workers. To terminate co-workers who leave data. <laughs> Does hesitate, explain later. Don't hesitate, explain later, okay. Lesson 3, follow mission protocol. Deviation from mission protocol endangers yourself, co-workers, and data collection. Assisting civilians is strictly forbidden, unless stated otherwise in mission protocol. Reminder, the punishment for deviation is termination. Okay. Don't deviate. In 1990, Agent Redacted was on a mission studying an entity. The entity was located at Agent Redacted's house. Agent Redacted tried and successfully saved his wife. Agent Redacted didn't follow protocol and both him and his wife were terminated. <laughs> This concludes the refresher. We will not remind about these topics again. See your supervisor if you have questions. I would like to see my supervisor, please. A multiple question quiz about these topics will now commence. Oh, no. Begin. Uh, an entity has killed your partner, but is no longer exhibiting hostile behavior. What should you do? Collect evidence. Correct. It is the perfect time to collect more data. <laughs> after a, Jesus, after a mission, after a mission, an entity unknowingly followed you home. You tried to shoot the entity, but your efforts are futile. You are cornered in a room. What should you do? Collect evidence, eliminate threat, run away, terminate self, terminate self. You have self-respect and give yourself a painless death. <laughs> Jesus, you are carrying newly discovered data about an entity. You hear your partner upstairs cry for help. You know you could probably neutralize the threat, attacking your partner. What should you do? Collect evidence, eliminate target, run away. Correct. Do not risk losing collected data. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you have a do not do no interfere order. <laughs> yeah, there's some spelling mistakes in this. Do not interfere order on a mission studying an entity. The entity is killing civilians, one of which is your friend. You have been given a weapon strong enough to neutralize the entity. What should you do? Record your friend's death for data. Yes. Follow mission protocol. I'm getting the gist. Yeah, not what I would do, but what I'm expected to do. You overhear your superior talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. Uh, ask your question. Uh, wait. You are worried that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Wait, you overhear your supervisor talking about a plan to leak data from ERD. You are worried that you will be in trouble for solving the issue. What should you do? Do nothing. They probably know something you don't. Terminate your boss. Record the conversation and report your boss. Ask your boss to explain the conversation. Terminate your boss. Correct. Don't hesitate. See, don't have not even for a second. Every second you don't hesitate is another second data could be leaked. I passed. Yeah. This fucking noise. This this weird noise in the background is wild. Uh, doppelganger detection. Oh god. Due to its emergence as one of the most common and dangerous entities, special training on doppelganger detection was created. <laughs> 
doppelganger. Originally thought to be its own entity type, the doppelganger is rather a class of entities who visually and audibly mimic humans. Okay. Yep. Doppelgangers can be detected from their abnormal features. Yeah. The most common attributes to look for are loose skin, missing features, and incorrect features. Further classification of the Peldangers can be made by observing the abnormal features. For example, skinwalkers always have loose skin. However, identification is covered in a difference module. Using your cursor, click on the doppelganger amongst the humans. Okay. We need to click on doppelganger. Doppelganger. Begin. Begin. Doppeldangers. We're going to get all them doppeldangers. It's you. You're missing an eye. It's you. You're missing pupils. It's you're missing lots of things. <laughs> It's possibly you? Possibly you. You have weird proportions. That doesn't necessarily make him a doppelganger. You have missing teeth. You should have gums. That also doesn't make him a doppelganger. Um, loose skin? This you, sure, you fucking burn it. Uh, you look bizarre. You have a wide, that's a wild smile. Your face looks weird. You look like Sylvester Stallone. I think it's you. I'm assuming that means I get it right. I don't know. You, that chin is fierce. Uh, you have missing eyebrows, but it doesn't necessarily mean you're a doppelganger. But I guess it does in this world. Uh, eyes. Uh, eyes. Oh, uh, no, excuse me. They had no eyes. They had no fucking eyes. You've got a weird mouth. Uh, I guess it's you. I passed. Yay. 14 out of 15. I feel like I failed. <laughs> I feel like I'm on drugs. <laughs> okay. Uh, image recognition. Oh, God. This its is... training module is to practice quick reaction skills on determining if something is a friend or a foe. Yeah. Friend or foe, friend or foe, friend or foe. Answer in the allotted time, else it will be marked incorrect. Luckily, you can just terminate. Yeah, absolutely. Look, you just put a bullet in their eyes. Begin. Begin. Okay, got it. I'm on it. Let's go. Threat or not threat? Threat or not threat? Not threat. Let's go. Quick, quick, quick. What is it? What is it? Is it a threat? Not a threat. Threat, not a threat. It's a threat. It's not a threat. It's a ducky. It is not a threat. It's a staircase. Unless that is a threat. I don't know. Show me the image. Threat. You're cowing down before the image is here. You're fucking cheating. That's not a threat. That was not a threat! This is a light in the window, fucker! That's not a threat. It's a forest. That's a threat. <laughs> everything is a threat. No, I don't think everything is a threat. I think... No, not a threat. This is a street. I just think... Things in windows are threats. You are... Fucking hell. <laughs> no threat. It disappears after a second. Uh, threat. <laughs> that was an easy one, that one. No threat. That's just a stairwell. Nothing threatening about the stairwell. There's something threatening about the stairwell, though. Fucking skin more green, a civilian. No. That was salad fingers at the end there. I don't know if anybody saw that. Uh, no threat. No threat. No threat. It's just a door. There's nothing wrong with that. Unless I missed something behind it. Uh, yep, threat. You got no skin and everything. Oh, you you also got no skin? Cool. You're making those ones easy for me. You you got n more long arms than you need? No threat? That's just graffiti. That's a threat. Giant person in a mouse costume. That's, I'm going to say that's a threat. Oh, God. Oh. Jesus. 
Uh, no, threat. No, back. I said threat. It wasn't. It was just a, a bison skull. Yep, that's a threat. No threat. You are taking the piss with this timer. Look at this. Yep, threat. You change it. Yeah, absolute. That's a threat. Oh, that's a fucking. That's a haunted doll. That threat. There was a naked witch covered in blood. 27 out of 30. Passed. Got it. I mean, I would have immediately said no threat, but, you know. That's, that's just me. Has face equals threat. The doll had a face. That was not a threat. Audio transcription. Audio transcription? Am I on Upwork all of a sudden? Agents must be able to accurately transcribe audio coming from unusual sources. Besides being able to detect incoming attacks, agents must document what entities say during encounters, as research remains the number one priority. Okay. Type into the console what you hear, and press enter when complete. I have, it's a typing test? Shit. Begin. Shit. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. God. Now you will get to see how bad I am at typing. Come here. Do not look behind you. <laughs> okay. You are weak and replaceable. Clap, 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 cloudy. With a chance of rain. Everything is fine. That's a hundred percent what it said. What? Oh, there's a reaper button. I don't see, 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 see the sun often. I don't see the sun often. Don't leave me here. Don't leave me here? Get out of my eyes. What? Get out of my eyes. Kill my eyes? Get out of my eyes. Get out of my eyes. What? Oh, oh God. I don't want to type that. Nope, that's not what it said. Okay, that's what it sounded like. Yeah. What? Turn it off a bit. There, yeah. listen to me. I'm home. There, listen to me. I'm home. Nope. I'm not very good at transcription, clearly. I want, to play with you. I want to play with you. I got that one right. Good. Don't you forget me. Don't you forget me? <laughs> I desire you. Please come back. Please come back. 
Sorry, was that Lethal Company? Jack, is that you? What? Stay back, stay the fuck back. Got it. <laughs> okay, let's turn that down. <laughs> Fix your mic. Thanks, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Not my mic. Entity 101. Cool. This can't get any more horrific. Entities are otherworldly beings that humans have been encountering for thousands of years. For once was a rare sighting, entities have begun appearing more rapidly through time. This led to the founding of the Entity Research Department. Okay. The RD goal is researching entities to protect the public but more importantly, finding utility in entities and where they come from. The leading theory of where they come from is backdoors, yet no back physical doors. evidence has been found yet. Legally distinct from back rooms. That S where you come in. As an agent that of the S. RD, you will be conducting highly confidential research missions to explore the gain of function of entities and finding their origin. This brief module will explain how entities are classified and show you the four entities the RD are focusing on in 1992. Entities are given an ID but are often given a nickname. <coughs> Some entities are given a class that link them to a family of entities. Mm -hmm. Entities are classified in three ways. Threat level, containment, and utility each rated by five levels. Mm -hmm. Entity, E549. Nickname, Shadow People. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Moderate. Doppelganger. Extreme. Utility, Significant. Shadow okay. people, or night terrors, torment their prey during night when there is low visibility, often in bathrooms, when the prey is sleeping. Paralyzing their prey during sleep, shadow people will ominously watch from a distance. It isn't known why shadow people choose to kill, as they will often torment the same subject for many years, but when they do, the victim isn't touched. To the civilian world it seems the subject died in their sleep. The research goal this year is finding out how shadow people choose their prey, and if this can be influenced. If so, E549 could be used in advanced interrogation techniques. <laughs> advanced interrogation techniques. Entity, E718. Nickname, Matronic. Class, Machine. Okay. Threat, Low. Containment, Easy. Utility, Moderate. Matronics take the form of animatronics. Playful figures that appeal to children. Matronics prey on children with no known case of an adult victim. It isn't known where Matronics bring their children prey, however, they are never seen again. Matronics, although dangerous, they are easy to terminate and capture. The past five years, agents of ERD children have been targeted by Matronics and have taken 107 to date. The research goal this year is finding why Matronses are targeting agent children and how to redirect their targeting. Fucking 107 agent children have gone missing from Matronics. Entity, E59. Nickname, Skinwalker. Class, Doppelganger. Threat, Severe. Containment, Moderate. Utility, Significant. Skinwalkers are ancient chapa shifters usually taking the form of animals and uncommonly humans, stealing their skin in the process. Skinwalkers are incredibly violent and when killed leave behind nothing but their body vector. Skinwalkers have a hard time replicating the natural movements of creatures they take control of. Skinwalkers can often be identified by unusual eye size or loose skin. 
The research goal this year is finding a systematic way to identify skinwalkers 99% of the time and finding out defensive measures that can be taken to prevent loss of possession of body. Bruce, that sounds horrific. That's way, that's way scarier. Entity, E-59. Nickname, The Rake. The Rake? Threat, no. Threat, moderate. Containment, moderate. Utility, low. So After they're a pest. the elimination of the Windigo, a new creature has seemingly taken its place in the Midwest of America and Southern Canada. Humanoid in shape, the Rake has varying size limbs but usually conforms to a light pasty color skin. Rakes hunt at night and humans are their favorite prey. Rakes are susceptible to gunfire, yet are incredibly agile and thus hard to shoot. The research goal this year is finding out the cause of their resurgence and the correlation after the Windigo eradication. Is there a point of taking out entities, if there is always a bigger fish? A brief quiz will now begin. Oh god. Oh god. I, f I should have known there'd be a quiz. Begin. Begin. Monet. Choose the correct entity. That was like a rake. That was like a Matronic. Choose the correct entity. Matronic. You gotta read the question as well. It's very important in exams. You gotta read the question. That is a shallow people. The correct entity. That is a skinwalker. Uh, yes. It fooled me with civilian then. That is a rake. Uh, a child of an agent has been taken by Matronic. What should you do? Follow to find the agent, terminate threat, run away, capture and see. Terminate threat. Damn it! What gives away the entity as a skinwalker? Uh, loose skin. No! I should read all the options. Shadow people kill their prey after how long? Uh, it can be years. Clyde Evans, yeah, must have been Clyde Evans. A rake has appeared, approached you during a mission. All you have is a service pistol. Would you, uh, are you able to terminate the entity? Yes. Susceptible to gunfire. You have a child, and after watching this training module, you have learned your child is at risk of abduction. You should warn family nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yes, yes, Catmus. I definitely expect a jump scare scream in this quiz, but we've had one at the beginning, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, there's, there's an exam. There's an exam? There's an exam. Oh, God. It's like school all over again. The final exam Only with now death. A mixture of More death. Of Sorry. Modules. A mixture of previous modules. Begin. Begin. Oh. I have to click on the face. Oh, you've mixed. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on board. Did you check the latch? Did you check the latch? An entity is a threatening appearance. What should you do? Collect evidence. It's not threatening me. Uh, no threat. <laughs> Everything. It's all at once. Yeah, the one on the right. Right? Yeah, the one on the right. Right. Uh, you've encountered a Matronic during mission. Are you in danger? No, Clodea. Always Clodea. It's you! Uh, what? Terminate yourself, terminate yourself, terminate yourself, terminate yourself. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, threat. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Was it was it threatening? Oh, wow, that's <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, choose a question. Shadow people. We're so good at this. We're so good at this. Uh, your co-work, who you consider a good friend, seems to be infected by something. You want to save him, but you know it's your duty to put him down. Uh, this is an example of which principle? Don't befriend co-workers. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> Fuck, you know. Yep. <laughs> yep. 
Uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't know which one that was. I, what? I want your skin? Oh, I fucked it. No threat. Threat. <laughs> Thought that was a tree range at first. Uh, a group of entities have kidnapped children. Your mission protocol is only to observe from a distance. What should you do? Observe. Choose a credit. Rake. Choose your identity. Uh, knuckle walkers. Uh, shadow people, not skinwalker. Whoa, I didn't get that one wrong. Face. <laughs> you can hide your face behind camera fingers. Uh, you look a bit fucked up. You, that's a threat. <laughs> that's a 2019 threat, that is. Or 2018 threat. The stage module is complete. Return to your supervisor's face instructions. Yes! 24 out of 26. Oh. Viewer. Oh, is that where our, our thingy was? Yeah. Is that where our webcam was supposed to be? Stop watching before they find you. Okay. Well, that was the Lancaster League Entity Exam. I really enjoyed that. I love this kind of exam thing. It's weird that it, it did lots of other things that other exam style games don't do. Like exam style games are just like, click on the threat, click on the skinwalker, click on the threat, click on the skinwalker. This is like, you have to choose multiple choice and also you have to type in stuff as well. So it's like a typing test. I enjoyed that element of it. Um, there's not enough of it though. I would like some more and maybe like broaden the types and like get get more more law into there as well. Um, but I really enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as well. Um, if you like this video, please like it. If you dislike it, you can dislike it and all that good stuff. You know how YouTube works by now. But for now, stay safe, stay spooky, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks very much, everyone. Bye-bye for now.